Is this full bottle worthy? I think it might be, I really do. I think it's the kind of perfume that you might wind up wanting to wear every single day and it could wind up feeling like a signature scent after a while. Hey everybody, it's Beth. Welcome to Infinite Garden. This week, Replica, one of my favorite fragrance lines, launched a new fragrance, When the Rain Stops. And I have to admit, I put my email in to get a reminder from Sephora so I could get it ASAP, which I did. I have it in my possession. I've been wearing it all day and I have some thoughts. I love the Replica line, which doesn't mean that I love every fragrance in the Replica line. Although I do like to try all of them and my preferred way of trying them honestly is to order the, um, the 10 ml travel sizes. This is some of the uh, travel sprays I have from Replica. What happens for me sometimes is I'll smell their fragrance and I'll love it immediately because it's so clever and evocative that I'll think, yes, I have to have this, this is amazing. But really after wearing it for a while, maybe I don't love the performance or maybe I find that the fragrance itself is not something that I really wanna smell like even though I appreciate the artistry behind it. When I saw this one teased on Sephora, I looked at the notes on Fragrantica before it was available and I loved what I saw. I'll put the notes up here. The notes are primarily watery notes. There's some bergamot, pink pepper, and some rose petal, which is interesting, along with patchouli. So this looked like a fragrance profile that would do well for me. I love watery aquatic fragrances. I love fresh, and this one seemed like it could be unisex, which I also like a lot. So this one looked to me like one I was willing to give a shot, and I have it now. Last night we had a terrible rainstorm. Earlier this morning, I put this on kind of before I showered just to give it a sense, and I went downstairs to do some laundry, and I noticed we had um, our floor drain had backed up from the, the rain and I called my husband down and we were moving furniture and stuff around and um, he noticed my scent. He's like, oh, you smell really good. So I thought that was pretty funny because this is called when the rain stops and over at our house when the rain stops, there's like some flooding in the basement, which is not super cool. This is not meant to evoke a wet basement. This is meant to evoke the sense of walking outdoors after a rain where you get that kind of ozonic wet rain smell but then the earth is releasing its its own scent um so the first things that you experience i feel like when you smell this is a watery earthy note i even had my husband try this too and he on himself not just on me and the very first thing that he noticed was pepper for me i caught the rose petals pretty quickly, but also the pink pepper is definitely apparent. You don't get the patchouli until a little bit after the first blast. So the notes list both water notes and rain notes. And I think that's interesting because I do think they're different. Rain has more of an earthbound quality, I think, in this context. And it and water is its own thing. It can be in any circumstance, and maybe that's what makes it transparent. So I sprayed this on about two hours ago. So I have, I'll leave it on this wrist will be my um, kind of dry down arm and then I'll spray it fresh here. So on first sniff, you readily get the rain notes. It really does smell like rainy air and you get, for me, I get rose petals for sure, I can. I, I know they're in the notes and so it's suggestive and I'm, I'm sure I'm influenced by that, but I think rose is readily apparent. So you do get a watery, transparent, earthy quality. As it dries down, you get a little bit more of the patchouli, but this is a very clean patchouli. This is meant to evoke earth and grass and I think it does. It doesn't have that funky B.O quality that patchouli can have sometimes, which listen, I even I'm into sometimes. This is the definitely a clean patchouli. And I think the throw is pretty good. I think the overall profile is definitely unisex. I think anyone could wear this at any time. It has a very clean feeling while not being entirely soapy. It definitely has a freshness, but it's not without character. Fresh fragrances are something that I like very much. I'm always interested in them, and sometimes they lean a little soapy, sometimes they lean a little green. I think this one is not necessarily soapy. I would say it's green. I think anyone can wear this, and I think the reason you would wear this is if you wanted to go out into the world and maybe have like a clean auric field around you, if you wanted to go through the world feeling like you have kind of like good vibes around you, 
the promotional materials show a rainbow and I think that really does say a lot about kind of the, the vibe of this. There is a hopeful kind of after the storm feel. And I really do feel like this could be easily office appropriate. I actually feel like this could be nice on a day date or just any sort of thing you might want to do meeting friends out. I don't even mind this at all for like a regular date because this does feel clean and hopeful and it might be nice to be close to somebody who smells like this. Man, woman, whatever. I'd say the vibe generally speaking here is clean, gentle, and hopeful. If you know Replica, they try to evoke a certain time and place and they name a location and a year. And in this case, it's Dublin 1967, which made me wonder if maybe it was it would have a bit of a um, Irish Spring soap, bar soap vibe. If you remember the old Irish Spring commercials, there was at one point a lady who said, manly, but I like it too. Is that any good? I don't know, my Irish accent's never been super great. If I fall in love with a men's fragrance, I usually just wind up buying it for my husband who also loves to wear scents and has a really good nose. In terms of performance, I've only had this fragrance since this very morning and so I haven't had a chance to wear it all day, but I have had it on for about two hours now and I find that on this arm, it's still very apparent. It's a pretty linear fragrance, so I don't feel like it's changed enormously from the opening notes but they are of course less apparent. I would say overall this one so far seems to be hanging in there pretty well. I would say within the replica line in terms of what it most compares to, I would say the two other fragrances I would put it kind of in a spectrum with are Lazy Sunday Morning and At The Barbers. And just for comparison's sake, Lazy Sunday Morning I feel is kind of in the same uh, family as Chloe. It has a, a soapy rosy quality, a little bit musky. I like Lazy Sunday Morning, but I haven't liked it enough to buy a full bottle, but I do think this is a lovely scent. I feel like this is close to Lazy Sunday Morning, minus the musk. When the rain stops is not musky at all. And the rose, I think, is more apparent in Lazy Sunday Morning, and it's a little more floral. Beautiful, but I think when the rain stops is a little more toward the unisex line, less musky. It's also not so different from At The Barbers. At The Barbers is one of my very favorite fragrances from Replica. I may end up buying this as a full bottle, but I'm going to have to make my way through the 10 ml. I find personally I'm a little uncomfortable wearing it myself, and I don't think my husband liked it enough for me to buy him a full bottle. So I'm just going to hang on to this 10 ml and see how it goes, but I need to make it super clear. I think this is a beautiful fragrance. This is a barbershop fougere. To me, it smells just like Barbasol in the, the red and white stripe can. That's what my dad used growing up. And I think this smells exactly like that shaving cream, only maybe a little elevated, but like on the nose. This one is interesting to me because it's so super specific, like Replica kind of tends to try to evoke a specific scent memory. I think after or when the rain stops, is a little more of a general sense compared to how super on the nose at the barbers is as being a shave cream. And this is also more aromatic. This has some rosemary and lavender in that makes it smell um, soapier and a little more obviously um, barbershoppy. It just smells so masculine and clean like a super well-groomed gentleman. This is beautiful. And I love it, but I'm not that comfortable wearing it myself. I usually only wear this like maybe when I'm at home after a shower and like right before bed and even still I'll wake up in the morning still smelling like at the barber. So I don't, I don't always feel comfortable going out into the world with it. This one is toned back, whereas that one's more masculine. This one's a little more unisex, but it maintains some of that barbershoppy feel. And I think that's because of the aquatic and patchouli notes. So if you like a barbershop scent but don't necessarily want to wear one yourself, you might find When the Rain Stops more wearable. I think it is unlike um, Bubble Bath, which to me is super musky and ended up not being very wearable for me. And it's unlike uh, Flower Market and Under the Lemon Trees. The aquatic notes here are not so far apart from the notes in Replica's Sailing Day, although Sailing Day is much more marine, salty, kind of snappy and, and energizing, where I feel like when the rain stops is slightly more calming and meditative. 
In short, When the Rain Stops is, I think, so far a great scent. As I always do with my replica perfumes, I'm going to make my way through the 10 ml travel spray to see if it winds up being full bottle worthy. But between my husband and I wearing this, we might we might decide that we need to buy a bottle and share it between us, and I think that would be totally appropriate. So if you haven't had a chance yet to smell this because I know it's brand new hot to the market, I'd strongly recommend putting your nose on it if you're interested. Is this full bottle worthy? I think it might be, I really do. I think it's the kind of perfume that you might wind up wanting to wear every single day and it could wind up feeling like a signature scent after a while. This is super easy to wear clean and beautiful and i think honestly it would work on just about anybody assuming that you like this typical scent profile i can't wait to see if this one becomes a love over time or just remains a strong like like it is right now let me know your thoughts have you had a chance to get your nose on this do you like fresh fragrances if so i'd love to hear which ones you like do you like replica which ones do you like from their line if you'd like to hear more about my thoughts about the line in general let me know i have a lot of these travel sprays in several full bottles so i'd be happy to let you know more let me know in the comments if that sounds interesting to you anyway i hope you have a great week ahead thanks so much talk soon